comic book savant, comic sense, trade review. <laughs> Welcome back to the Comic Books of Hot Podcast. I'm your host, James Harris. This episode, we're going to be doing a Comic Sense trade review. I'm going to be going over uh, Star Wars, Age of the uh, Age of Republic, uh, Heroes. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the line, um, a year or so ago, um, Marvel, with their Star Wars books, had gone through the different uh, eras of the Skywalker uh, saga in had uh, did each kind of time period from the age of the Republic, which is uh, set where the, the, the prequel, the, the prequel trilogy is. Then I think it's, um, what's the next one? Age of the rebellion. And, uh, and then age of the resistance were the three like main time periods through the span of those nine movies. And um, they did a series of one shots uh, on a handful of characters in, in each book. they And then what they did, they collected them in trade. And then I think they collected each uh, age in a uh, hardcover, big hardcover with all the books. So I'm going to be, over time, you'll see me review all of them. I picked up all the individual trades. Um, I was kind of upset because after I bought all the trades, they did the hardcovers that had the, they would do, uh, you know, um, Age of Republic Heroes and Age of Republic Villains. Um, and then they did it all in one hardcover, but I ended up getting the individual like heroes, villains, heroes, villains, heroes, villains for each of the three, uh, ages. But, um, I will be reviewing them one by one, uh, spreading them out over time. And as I read them, uh, but I thought it was a neat concept. Um, so this is one of many of these type of reviews that you will be getting, um, again, it's published by Marvel Comics. It retails for about six ninety nine. Probably can find it cheaper with discounts, depending where you look, uh, for physical or and or digital. Um, page count is about one hundred and twenty eight pages. Uh, this series of stories are written by uh, Jody Hauser and Mark Guggenheim. Artists on the book are Corey Smith, Wilton Santos, uh, Palio uh, Villanelli, and Caspar uh, Win- Wingard. And the inkers are Walden Wong and Mark Deering. Colorists are Java, uh, I hope I pronounced this correctly, uh, Tagala, uh, Donald uh, Sanchez Amara, and uh, Chris Peters. And lettering is done by Travis Latham. And this uh, trade collects Star Wars Age of Republic, uh, Anakin Skywalker, Obi Wan Kenobi, Padme Amidala, Qui Gon Jinn. And material from the Star Wars, Star Wars Age of Republic special. Uh, so again, that's all the individual one shots that um, formulate this individual trade. And the breakdown on the trade is as follows. Uh, this is the Age of Star Wars, an epic series of adventures uniting your favorite characters from all three trilogies. Join the greatest heroes of the Old Republic. Witness the moments that define them, the incredible battles that shape them. And their internal conflict between light and darkness. Maverick Jedi Qui Gon Jinn is known uh, to bend the rules, but uh, but a mission gone awry forces him to confront his conflicting beliefs. Anakin Skywalker has a chance to strike a devastating blow to the Separatist cause. Uh, will he choose the darker path or hold true to the Jedi code? Padme Amidala sets out on a secret mission. Obi Wan. Kenobi, Master Jedi, takes on an apprentice. Will uh, will his mission alongside his young Padawan bring them closer together or sow the seeds that will drive them apart? Plus Mace Windu, Captain Rex, and Jar Jar Binks. Um, so again, you get a slice of life of a lot of different characters in, you know, in that particular age that they're covering in this trade. Now what I'll have to say for sure, uh, Jody Hauser did an excellent job with handling the different the different heroes that got spotlighted in each of the individual stories that make up the book. Um, I think I have, she did a, she had a better handle on uh, these characters because she's kind of shepherding these, the, the, the first books that I've, that I've gone over. Um, and this is kind of a spoiler. I think with the hero, she had a better handle than she did on the, the, the villain side, but that review should be coming up probably will hear that before you'll hear this one um potentially who knows um 
but I feel like she definitely had a better grasp on the heroic side than she had on the villain side of things. And just, um, it seemed more natural in, in those character voices than it did maybe on the villain side for me. Um, uh, right now, Hauser's been doing a lot of writing uh, in the Star Wars space. Um, and um, I feel like overall, she's been doing quite well. The things that I've read, I've really enjoyed. Um, I would have to say far as on the comic side of things right now, far as the people that are continually in the space, it's kind of her and Charles Soule that really are, are doing a really good job <clears throat> having those uh, that, you know, those that flag that that um imprint if you will within marvel of star wars really in good hands with the the books that they they've been putting out and they've been fun to to read um you know we've we've had you know other writers that have you know done but they've gone on they've kind of made star wars their kind of play area and really seem to get it and are turning out solid stories, which, you know, we always as comic fans complain about from time to time that, you know, sometimes it's, uh, uh, we don't get top notch talent or, uh, talent pumping out. It's kind of phoned in the work we see in these books and for the amount that we have to pay for them, you know, is, is, it's not a good return on investment, but I could say when I pick these books up, I don't feel like I'm getting shortchanged in any way by the quality of the books or the stories that I'm reading, which means everything to me as a comic fan that with a limited budget, which we all probably do right now with the shape the world is in to buy something. If you want to buy it for entertainment, you want to be able to be entertained. It felt like you got the most bang for your buck, which I feel like I have with the, the stories that are being put out here. Um, I think all the stories in this collection are, are equally as strong It's you know, for me, it's a great companion. And I think this was the purpose of these one shots and in the whole concept of doing this, like initiative of covering, covering these different ages and eras of the comic book, uh, of the, of the star Wars series is that it's used to be a great companion piece, uh, to the prequel films and like each, you know, series of one shots will do for that era of the the movie trilogies that they relate to that it goes to a companion if you want to do a deeper dive or you like one particular character and you know that's why they did one shot so if you like Padme more than you like you know another character you could just pick up that one shot and get a little well, just a little bit more backstory fleshing out like the breakthrough said it's kind of their motivation their internal struggle things of that nature and I felt like it delivered on that promise uh really well so again if you're you're a fan of the prequel films or even the clone wars uh animated series this would be a good companion uh piece to pick up uh or just pick up the hardcover since like i said this this came out after i had already picked up the trades um you could just pick up star wars age of the republic hardcover that has the heroes and villains and if you find it on discount it's probably going to be about the same or a little bit cheaper than buying the two trades individually of age of republic um heroes and then age of republic villains so definitely look out for that now i was at the disadvantage of not knowing that was a thing um that i could have just got and probably you know read it all through in one shot but is a lesson learned, but again, it's a great companion to those uh, prequel, uh, the prequel movies and that prequel uh, series as well. Um, Corey Smith's artwork is is good. Um, his his uh, some of his artwork has a slight anime feel, uh, but had great energy and delivered consistent visuals and solid storytelling throughout. Um, you know, and I think that's so important with artwork. I feel like it's a consistency through it. Um, he stood out, you know, particularly to me because he does most of the 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 artwork throughout the the books. You have different fill in artists, which I listed um, throughout. But uh, he was like the primary artist when I looked through the stories. That um, his style was consistent throughout, and you know, so, you know, solid storytelling. And I, you know, like I said, it's <coughs> it's <coughs> excuse me it's a balance and it's a dance between what you're reading and how it's being portrayed visually on the page and helps with you as a reader and you and, and flowing with it all. It's a, it's a dance that we have as with, as a reader with the creative team that puts the book together. 
And if it's clunky or it's inconsistent, it can hinder how you read and you experience and you enjoy the book. So again, those things that they seem simple, um, consistency and being able to solidly tell a coherent story blends together. And it means a lot to me because it, it's the difference between me, you know, uh, burn, you know, burning right through an issue and then ready for the next one. I'm hungry for the next one because I'm so engrossed with the story. Um, those things help. So, um, Corey did a, you know, a great job all in all, I have to say the overall creative team delivers a great offering worth the read, you know, again, for fans of the prequel and the hero characters, because this is what this, you know, this installment is about. It's about the heroes related to, uh, the age of the old Republic. Um, so definitely for me, I would have to give this book an 8.75 out of 10 It's definitely a good read um you know and this is for uh if you're a star wars fan you don't have to be a star wars fanatic it's a difference um because i don't think of myself as a you know this super over-the-top die-hard star wars fan um i just love the different characters and the stories the interconnecting stories that it they tell um and i feel like this this delivered uh, and it was a good value for the money for sure. If you're not a fan of Star Wars, you can, you know, this is definitely something you can skip. Um, or if you're trying to get into Star Wars, this is a good entry point because you get, you know, some background on some of the characters. Uh, maybe if you're just watching them to get these, um, and like I said, read alongside it. Hey, say you watch the prequel movies and then you, you want to know a little bit more about the characters. If you pick up these books or these one shots, you know, it would give you a little bit more, um, insight into the, at the characters and what their motivations were for sure. So that's all I have for you guys for this review. Um, like I said, more will be coming. I don't know at what sequence and what clip you'll get them in. Cause again, I don't want to bombard you with so much star Wars heavy stuff. So I just went down a rabbit hole during the pandemic and me taking time off. Um, I, you know, I, I've been enjoying the star Wars, um, Marvel run and been, you know, buying the books. They normally have massive sales constantly throughout the year. So I, you know, I just keep picking up stuff as, cause I enjoy it. So, but I don't want to just be a star Wars comic review, you know, uh, channel. So I try to spread it out just like with anything that I read and review, I try to spread it out for you guys. So it's just not so heavy DC, Marvel, star Wars image, you know, Valiant, all the different stuff. I try to be even across the board and spread the love across the board to all the different types, genre books and so forth. So, uh, that's all I have for you guys. For this episode is always, you can find all the information about the show and the episodes that are dropping over at comicbooksavant.com. You also can find me on social media on Instagram and, and, uh, Twitter at comic book savant also on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash comic book savant. And also if you like to support the show, you can go over to the Patreon campaign It's patreon.com forward slash comic book savant, all one word. Um, and check it out there. Um, Again, I appreciate you guys so much and the support you've given to me. Um, it means a, a lot. Um, and it keeps me motivated. It keeps me going. Uh, and that's all I have for you guys for this week. So until next episode, you guys stay safe out there. Take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.